What up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Damo, never been a lame O. This is Jay Willie, the podcast killer, yeah. a.k.a. podcast poppy, yeah. a.k.a. the pod father. This here is Willow Wednesdays. You about to get some ghetto news uh-huh. from your relationship gurus. <laughs> Bow, yeah. Clap, bow. Yeah. 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 Dame-o, Dame-o, Dame-o. That's me, sir. What's the word, brethren? Uh, well, What's shit. going on? Talk word, 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 word. It's the word. Um, I don't know. Corny? That ain't working. Bad. 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 Sorry. Bad. Why? Um, <laughs> Nah, Talk man, to me though, man. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. It was, it was a calm week this week. Nothing, nothing okay. too, nothing okay. too <laughs> nothing outlandish, too, too extravagant. Yeah, yeah, nothing outlandish. Okay. Um, but nothing to report. I hate when you do this. Well, no, what I got to report is weird. Um, in my walls, I think like an animal <laughs> keep getting in the wall and dying. <laughs> what? So, so because <laughs> what? Because what happens is all of a sudden you get the big flies. <laughs> right. All right. So we in Atlanta. We in Atlanta. So every week there's a new bug that I discover. Oh, you're learning some new shit. I'm learning new, about okay. new bugs. It's so, like the the, the poker what the Pokedex. There's some new Pokemon being unlocked. So now, you know, there's no bugs. Mm-hmm. I'm good. But then all of a sudden it's just mad fucking flies. And huh. so I'm doing research on these flies. They're big as fuck though. Like they like like this part of your, your finger big, like bigger. Mm-hmm. And it's a it's a ton of them. And I'm like, what the fuck makes that? I don't know if I want to go to your house. Nah, bro. but so what happens is apparently it could be something that like an animal that dies. Mm-hmm. And obviously flies, they lay something in there. But for somehow, the motherfuckers get in my house. Nigga. So when you spray and you kill them, right? You need a a, 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 a door with a net on it. What's the screen? You need a screen, screen door. You need a nigga, screen door. Like, it, it looked like a murder, like a massacre. <laughs> I walked there. I was like, what the fuck? They was all these guys. It's a, a, a ton of fucking flies, fam. Oh, nah. Yeah, it's some weird oh, shit. Oh, nah. Weird shit. Okay. I keep learning about new shit in Atlanta, man. Shout Straight out to up. the fly house. Nigga, the fly I trap. The fly trap. <laughs> Nigga, you beat me, 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 you beat me. You beat me. That's kind of dope. Yeah, I got to come out to the fly trap. We got trap, the fly nigga. trap. Yo, pull up to the fly <laughs> trap. Nigga, it's lit. Bring your swat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That was so corny, it bring, was. That was bring your swat. Bring your swat, nah, That's what's up, though. I mean, it's not what's it's up. It's not what's but up, but I guess. we'll see. I'll give you a report on the flies next yeah, week. Yeah, cool. Man. Lord of the flies. That's nah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. cool. My week. Um, cause <laughs> that, weird shit. That's weird to report. Mad flies. My week was interesting. Yeah. Um, I got cursed out by an oh, right, R. Right. Kelly fan, but I... I've always heard about super fans. So, yeah. I've never saw a super fan. Like, I know niggas who go like crazy for Jay Z, right? Like, yeah. I'm from Brooklyn, so like I, I know the niggas. We hate like, those niggas. No, no but they, they yeah. ride or die. You're not saying nothing about their mans. You're like that's their mans. No, no. <laughs> you said yeah. I know niggas. I am niggas. <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> no, but I'm talking about the fan that wears the clothing. Oh. The fan that knows Shy. Remember Shy? He go he have all the go to the concerts and come back with all the t shirts. The merch and all that. All the merch. No, but and not, where's I'm, the merch? I'm not even not talking even about merch. merch. Okay. I'm talking about so long story short, this lady walked into the store. Gotcha. She walked in. She had a R. Kelly spray painted shirt. Oh shit. R. Kelly on the jeans, both legs. R. Kelly spray painted sneakers. Oh my god. Had the hat. R. Kelly number one fan. Like this was a regular ass Thursday. She dressed like Bernie Mac in the uh you, like, like Bernie had his face. Yes. <laughs> but this is a regular ass day. So wow. she walked in and I instantly started laughing. I'm like, yo. <laughs> because now I already know what we about to have. Yeah, you know what this is. So you know me for real. Like we gonna talk we gotta talk about gotta, this. Yeah, we gotta talk so, about this. So I, I start a conversation. Okay. And we get to talking about the case and how she felt about the case and her What'd stance say? on What's it. What's her stance? Bro, <laughs> you couldn't tell her nothing about R. Kelly, bro. R. Kelly didn't do it. R. Kelly was set up. Oh, shit. R. Kelly, he can't read, so he didn't know nothing about nothing. Wow. The whole system was out to get him from young. Wow. And he... Bro, but it got weird after a while. Yeah. That's not even the weird part. Yeah. Believe it or not. It got weird when she started naming the jurors. Oh, shit. She started saying the jurors' addresses. Okay. She started saying the prosecutors, the prosecution's names, their husbands and 
children okay. and what school they go She's to. She's a stalker. She, it got weird. That's cringy, yeah. Bro, it's so like, why do you know all of this? I'm, exactly. So I'm sitting there, and I see her getting more and more visibly upset. Because, <laughs> you know, my stance. You know my stance. The, wor- the whole world know my fuck stance. Fuck R. Kelly. <laughs> yeah. Whole, but, but so, like, straight like that. Like, fuck R. Kelly, period. Like, yeah. I'm an asshole by trade. So if okay. I see that I'm bothering you, I'm only going to turn it up some more. Because uh, now this is... Uh, so now I'm I'm heavy in the bag. I'm deep uh, in my Birkin. Uh, I'm pulling out all the jokes. And she legit stormed out of the store. Yeah. And I'm going to take a shot for this, and it's worth it. She left and was like, fuck out of here, you little black bitch. <laughs> like, went off. Like, oh knock shit over. Was mad for real, like <laughs> she knocked it over on the way out. Like, ah. yeah, like <laughs> fuck this store, <laughs> fuck you, yeah. fuck everything. Y- y'all, y'all trying to do stuff to my baby, and he's innocent. And wow. but, wow. but I was cutting ass. I'm like, okay, in 30 years you'll see him. <laughs> <laughs> like, 30 years. Take that shot though. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna take it. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Speaking, I of ain't Kelly. R. Kelly. <laughs> nah, but. That was my week. It was very interesting on that. Like, I've never met a super, super fan of I've somebody. I've never met a super like, fan of R. Kelly. Bro, but like... To like, because I'm a fan, but I'm but not a be, fucking But you're not fan. dressed in his clothing. No, I wouldn't. It's going to smell like piss. But it's not even... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's <stupid. laughs> but it's not even his clothing. It's clothing that she made. Oh, shit. This is not merch. I wonder, did she pee on it? <laughs> <laughs> drip, drip, drip. Piss <laughs> on you. Yes, I do. <laughs> Yo, Man. we got a fucking show to talk about. Right. We got some shit to get off. All right. I don't have a cup to take my shot. I know, and if I get up, we're going to have to refocus. Yeah, so fuck it. I owe you one. Yeah. <laughs> I owe you one. I got, I'm not a waterfall and shit either. It's all right. Yeah, now you got a waterfall to Seveca. Nah, I, yeah, yeah, whatever. But not right now. All right. Yo, we got a lot to talk about. Um, I feel like we've been we've been being blessed lately with yeah. these great shits just to talk fucking about. Fucking finally. Yeah. Some it's, shit it's, happens it's before... Always- Wednesday. It's always something to talk about. Man. My question with you, do you want to start funny? Do you want to start serious? Like, how, how you want to start, man? How I always you? want to start good, get serious, get funny again. Hmm. Fun, serious, fun. Okay. That's a good format for me. So if we go fun first, I want to talk about Kim Burrell. The, 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 the gospel singer? Yes. What she do? Oh, I love it. I fucking love it, bro. I love it. Okay, talk to me. I'm here, I'm here for this. I, that's a great... Kim Burrell. <laughs> I'm in my bag, right? Cool. Okay, okay. Kim Burrell. At one point, she was known as, uh, quote, unquote, the best singer. No, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, they, yes. They, yes, she yes. Was, we, we all know for a fact that Kim could sing. She's in that, that, she, that she's upper... That what is it, upper pantheon? Yeah, like the, the upper, upper echelon. echelon yeah, of, that yeah. Jasmine Sullivan. Yes, her, she's up there. Yeah, they up in there. Yeah. Kim Burrell was at a... Uh, uh, she was at a church. Makes sense. And, uh, <laughs> with the, yeah. <laughs> She got a church and she had, um, she was warming the crowd up. Okay. And it turned into like a, a, a comedic set. Okay. But she said a lot of things that had people just pissed. What she said? Um, I want you to hear it, but you the people. I have it. I want you to hear it, but the people got to hear it at the same time. Okay. So you, I'll, you, I guess you got to play it in your microphone. Okay. You can turn the volume up just so you can hear it. Restart it, yeah. You know, sometimes before we get friends, we have to do an interview. How long have you been broke? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) How many times have you changed your name on your light bill? Uh Oh. How many of your bills in your little cousin's name? Oh, Lord, (laughs) Kim. Do you live in a trailer home or a house? You know, you understand. And it's not about status or material things. It's just about choices. Okay. You know. Yo. And so, if we honor the Lord, God is good. I respect all of the men of God here. And I respect you. Can y'all clap so I don't feel strange? Going right the fuck off, bro. Hopefully we'll get a chance to meet each other. Would y'all invite me to come to your church? I'm not as expensive as I seem. Um, is she drunk? Yeah, bro. And so, I don't know. Maybe you got a little leftover from your PPP, though. Ma'am. <laughs> 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 Miss <laughs> hey, Burrell. Hey, what? You know, I, I like coming here because the 
ground is already tilled with great personality like Dr. Karn. Because one thing I love about him, he's deep in the word, but he knows how to have great humanity. Okay. And most don't understand his personality because he is truth personified. Huh. And he tells the type of truth that makes most uncomfortable. Okay. Because who likes to be told you're just ugly? Yeah. No one likes yeah. to be told yeah. that. Yeah. You know, especially when they have realized it. All right. Most Ma'am. don't get offended until they know the bad thing about themselves. And then somebody else recognizes and says, oh, I saw the ugly, too. I just wanted to let you know. Auntie, so anyway, y'all this get is, that This way. is Kim Burrell. Auntie. Oh, Auntie. You're beautiful. I haven't chosen anyone to be ugly yet. Yo. God is good. God is great. God is good. Keep coming back most to him. God is good. God is good. Amen. 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 Uh, <laughs> I have a great personality. I'm, I'm oh, why cut to the girl I'm with the face? Amen. Oh, Lord. Oh, why cut to the other girl with the other face? Oh, the girl with the face at the end, like, Baby, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Kim Burrell, everybody. Oh, Auntie. Come, ma'am. Yeah, so, <laughs> needless to say, she's been being killed. Yeah. Especially, uh. yo, Black Twitter has been going off. Mind you, I fuck with Kim Burrell. She wasn't saying nothing wrong. No, 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 no. Just no, inappropriate. No. no, no, she said a lot of shit wrong. If you're talking about putting bills in kids' names what- and... Okay, okay, matter of fact, no, you're right. She didn't say nothing wrong. It was inappropriate. It's inappropriate. It's, it, it's, it's tone deaf in a lot of manners. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, yeah. That's, that's family spoke, talk in, she, in the house. She spoke on money. Right. To be honest with you, it, it just wasn't godly. I it's secular. No, it, it's secular on the pulpit. And this ain't no Christian pod. Like, we don't, no, we don't do that. But we got to talk about it. No, I... That was not. That was not. I'm gonna give you. There's a time and a place, a, bro. Yeah, that is. It's that's really like. It's like she didn't speak wrong, but you remember when when Donald Trump has said locker room talk. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that. Like that's sitting in your kitchen, taking a couple beers, talking shit with your family talk. No, but I don't think that that's. But like okay, you say, you so don't do Donald, that in church. Donald Trump said, context matters, right? Donald Trump said locker room talk because he was outed on a conversation that was leaked. That's true. She purposely did this. Yeah, <laughs> like it's yeah. different. She went too black. Yes. Like too black. When keeping it real go wrong. Yeah, yeah perfect. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Yep. 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 Bro, she was like, you can't afford me, but if you got a PPP loan. Yeah. Like, like what? She, she hit yeah. on every trigger. Like, <laughs> trigger. She said, if you ugly, you ugly. Like, yo, ma'am, relax. But mind you, this is Kim Burrell Kim on Burrell. the pulpit. This is one of the, the top best gospel singers but then you keep bringing it back to praise god yeah yeah. amen ppp loans amen bro bro, it's it's she said no vaccine amen (laughs) it's 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 crazy because you know the twitter get the twitter in and and, and people start the people in and everybody everybody got an opinion sure which doesn't make it special it makes it run of the mill everybody got one right of course but now you you start to see why oh this is why i stopped going to church uh, this, this is why I don't there. fuck with religion. Like, it got deep. It turned there. So I wanted to see how you felt about hearing a staple, a pillar in the community, in the gospel community. Yeah, I mean, I um, get too real. I grew up going to church, you mm-hmm. know. Um, obviously, I was in choirs and all of that kind of yeah. stuff. Um, I was in a traveling, or, well, in high school, my choir, we traveled around the different churches. Okay. It was really cool. Like literally, we was we was we was legit, bro. We was winning contests and like we was like. Oh, so you was like um, Sister Act Two with yeah, Lord? Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. By the way, yeah. what have you done for me I lately? Was all that. Okay, yeah, we was on it. We was on it. Mm-hmm. Somebody found a tape too. I got to show you. It's a tape of bro, it's a tape of me in high school, fat as hell, singing my ass off in the front, like. Bro, don't bo- don't body shame yourself. I, I'm not. It's just true. <laughs> your body, your choice. <laughs> 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 okay. That's funny. No, nah, but it was. Anyway, let me not go into that because you're going to have to get me to that because I got to show you the video. I want to see it. You, I got to see I gotta it. I got to find I wish I could. I got to see I, that I, shit. It's on, my, duh, it's on my phone, but I got to show you, though. Mm. It's, it was actual a fucking video cassette tape, and the mm. dude was filming it with his phone like, yeah. damn, I still remember this, bro. And I'm like, no, nah, you got to send me That's that. That's hilarious. Yeah, but anyway. So, yeah, I did the church, the quiet thing. Um, and what I learned, I don't fuck with church people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know oh. what I'm saying? It, they the most ficklest, phoniest. They work, yeah, bro. Yeah, they do that. The worst. Yeah. For me, mm-hmm. just in my experiences. In my experiences, because what happened was I didn't grow up in the church necessarily. Like, you know how, like, I came to the church afterwards. Mm-hmm. 
you know, uh, some of the, some people, you know, they they they, they father or their mother's friends with the pastor. You grew up with all the pastor's kids. Mm-hmm. And you are in the church to church for real. Yeah, you start yeah. off in the youth choir and you da da da. No, I, I just went and got into God and was like, oh, church is cool. Oh, okay, oh, we can sing here. So this is dope. So I started just singing, just being my secular. Wait, ass. So you just walked in on some like, well, no, 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 no. like hey, what y'all <laughs> niggas doing, <laughs> what they in doing here? Up in here? <laughs> What the fuck is this place? What's going on? <laughs> hey, everybody. No. Uh, nah, what happened was it was an after school kids program. Um, did y'all have open gym? Just like open gym? Absolutely. Of course, right? Yeah, so absolutely. We, so we had open gym. We'd go play basketball. Yeah. Um, and then after that. Bro, that was the best part of after school. Yeah. <laughs> like, the, open yeah, gym. And then yeah. after open gym, when I was in sixth grade, there was this thing called Hype. But it was mm-hmm. a church next door to the school. Helping wow. young people excel. Wow! So talk to us, Dean. So and this helping is, young people. Okay. So this is cool because if you in from the Madison area, y'all know we was all hype about hype because it's something else to do. <laughs> Niggas was hype about. Nah, hype. but I'm just saying because like you said, you get out of school, you got open gym. Mm-hmm. Then after that, you got somewhere else to go. Today home. It was an after party. Yes. I don't gotta go home. And your parents that's is lit. like, "Are oh, you in church? That's lit. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, that's lit. That's lit. That's bro." Lit. Kids, I would have been in there talking to all. Everybody was wilding, bro. Like what? church was wild. What? All the girls is in church. You know oh, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the after school, this nigga. Is the after, after, after school. After school. Come on, now. dog. So many of us was in there. I already hooped. Now I get, now I get to be around. The <laughs> you hoop. You take a women? shower, and then you go and chill with girls. Oh nah. What? Yeah, pra- you know what I'm pra- praise God. Yeah, it was like praise, praise God. God. Oh, what? That's hilarious. So then, as we got older, I'll be hype for hype too. You're right. I'm trying to tell you. Mm. So we ended up becoming like church kids on the low. Yeah, low because they they they, they, they backdoored you in. They backdoored us. Yeah. No, but they yeah, did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They definitely did. They it did. was a sermon it, every day. It was we a funnel. We up in there like the girl. Damn, you talk you talking about. But you want to talk to Sasha with the fatty. Right. You, you're like, damn. Like I remember specifically Sasha, since, we, since we own it. Fuck it. I'll tell you the story. Story okay. time. I used to steal. <laughs> no, I came in hot, right? My bad. I came in hot. <laughs> I came in like pew. I came in hot. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> he wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> right when you take the drink, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right, I'll wait. Niggas, I was a thief, nigga. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Something I used Yo. to do. What the fuck? I, okay, go ahead. So, go so, ahead. so when go I was ahead. when I was young, that I used is hilarious. I used to steal for no, just because I, I I I could. <laughs> like, you ever just do something because you know you can? You know what I'm saying? Like on oh, some real shit, like bro. <laughs> so I used to just steal shit. So like, what niggas would do? <laughs> we'd get out of school, we'd go oh, play shit. basketball, <laughs> and it was like, how y'all got shit. corner stores? We had a white hand. Pantry, white hen pantry. Just, white hen? That's what it's called. Whatever, it's a corner store, basically. Because white hen is real. It's no, a white hen. Okay. White hen pantry, but okay. whatever. Our version a of corner a corner store. store. Got right. it. All right. So we would literally go to the corner store it's and steal <laughs> and then go to church. <laughs> <laughs> I Yo, need you to understand the Chicago irony of this. Chicago is different, But I bro. need you to understand the irony because mad niggas would do it. So you just see mad kids coming from me and then leaving. And it's like, well, y'all got all that shit. Like, what? you ain't buying that, bro. We ain't fucking... We in sixth grade. You know what I'm saying? Nobody got money in sixth grade. We had wild yeah. honey buns it's and, the fucking, and Doritos the, the, uh, What was my shit? The, the Now Ladies, nigga? What? Oh, Now Ladies is a hood classic. Now Ladies and Sunflower Seeds and shit? Yeah, Sunflower Seeds is lit. So The cheese seeds. Yeah, so the cheese. Uh, yeah. Cheese of the, cheese of the ranch. So, <laughs> so what happened was, <laughs> eventually, I'm in church, and they preaching about stealing. And <laughs> yo. Bro, I'm sitting there feeling bad. And you start getting the conscience. I, like, I yeah. got Skittles in my pocket. Like, yeah, you're like some bull. Fuck. Mind you, I, I used to be in church like, oh, yeah, praise yeah, God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm in there like, I can't even Damn, have. morally it's not right. <laughs> like, I'm stealing. I can't God is stealing. watching me. Yes, I'm in yeah, church, yeah, man. Yeah. And then, honestly, it happened to all of us. Like you say, on the low, they got us. Mm-hmm. So we ended up all being like, they, they backdoor- we all yeah, ended up back- being better people. Yeah. <laughs> like on the, And then it continued to high school. Shout out to the hype program. It continued to high school. They called it Jam. I do not remember what Jam started. I, Jesus always yeah, marching. Makes, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't Jesus know. Jesus is always marching. Justice against machines. I there don't know what go. it was, but Jam was now turned. And <laughs> they actually got older. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but they actually got, they, they knew that it was high school now. Jam turned into dare. Yeah. yeah. So it turned into a better program. Got you. 
My bad to talk so Another long about story? this. Yeah, I got Let's one go. more. I got one more church story. Great. Okay. I got one more church story. All right, Jam. So, da, da, da. so shout out to uh, Reverend Elise, and I can't think of the other Reverend Thomas. It was, a, it was a younger kind of Reverend. They was like thirty something. So us, they still old, but you yeah, know what I'm saying? They're but thirty. They're young yeah. Niggas, yeah. Yo. Well, I can't call a preacher a nigga, but yeah. I mean, if the police come. All I'm True. saying is, <laughs> I hate you. Here's how the reference was, and this is what gives you uh, time, the time of the uh, era. He used Nas album. Nah, second album. Uh, 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 a little, a little, a little. It, was it was written. It was written. The sermon was. He used the, the the term. Put it up on the screen. Watch them niggas that's close to you, and make sure they do what they supposed to do. Yeah. Because you know they be thinking about smoking you. Yeah. Never personal nowadays. It's the way. Yeah. That's literally the reference for the sermon. And you reading that in church? Yes. That's it's fine. blotted. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's how cool the program was. Yeah. It was that cool. And he was like. You mean you got to watch the people around you because they thinking about killing you? Like, that's... Oh. And you telling this to kids. You know what I'm saying? So Because we like, so yeah, you, that don't make sense. So you using the same lyrics that got you. Bro. That's, that's kind of dope. It was a dope program. Yeah. Like, for kids, like, I wish, like, you could send your kid. Like, it was that dope. Mm. And it kept a lot of us from doing stupid shit because mm. we like, well, we going to play basketball and we go to church. And I go to church. Well, all right, what's this dope program at the church? You know what I'm saying? The girls be there, like... Shit called jam. yeah. <laughs> And Sasha with the fatty I'm be there, you, you feel me? Like so. In I'm real gonna, life, oh, my nose running. No, but in real life, yo, for real. And I'm telling you, it kept so much of us in our area because you know it's, it's Chicago. You know, if you know how mm-hmm. shit goes, so we kept so many of us like off of. The Shout out shit. to Kim Burrell. I mean. Yeah, my bad. Bring me back. But <laughs> I had to get that story out because I have not talked about that probably ever. That's wild. We gonna clip that up. That's gonna be something. We gonna that's do something wild. Like that. If yeah. I can. Shout yeah, out to that though. My fault. That just made me reminisce. But that's how I found out about Kim uh, Burrell. I'm about to call her Kim 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 K. But Kim Burrell. So yeah, man. At the end of the day, bro, she she was wilding. She deserves all the smoke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my mm-hmm. bad. That was long. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. No, I'm here for it. It's but cool. The, but yeah. But no, no. I I too think that she bugged the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Um, I once again when keeping it real goes wrong. Yeah. Um, she she wasn't wrong. No. But right place. I'm sorry, wrong place, right, wrong place, wrong time? What is yeah. It? Wrong place, right time? Because the world find it. Honestly, I feel like she's an asshole in real life after watching that video. Yeah. I feel like yeah. she really feels that way. She, and, but, but that's what kills me about comedy, to be honest. Um, when people, oh. and I, bro, I love a good stand-up comedy. I love a good comedic, well, comedian, sorry. I love laughing at some shit but when i can see that it's really you for real yeah you can see that she the asshole auntie yes she's really like that yeah like she, i that's what i got from that video yeah kim burrell is really that asshole uppity stush stush churchy touch. yeah everything go back to but praise god yeah it's like but it's i got all this money off of my gifts you still a weak ass right Lesser than type right. nigga, but praise God. Yeah, like yeah, I, that's what I get from that. But that's but, what that made me not want to go to church. And and to be honest, I I get that sentiment. Yeah, because that's what I got when I got. And, and that's why I say I, I explain the story. Now I'm bringing it home. Why? No, but I explain that story because that's how I got into gospel. Got gotcha. you. A complete opposite outside way. Yeah. So it's like, so that's how they the, the church you kids from the bodega. Nigga. Right. That's what I'm saying. So the kids treated me how Kim Burrell is acting. Got you. They was oh, I mean you. Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, you. You stealing from the store? It's like, well, you stealing too? You just saying praise God first. <laughs> you gotta pray. Praise about it. God. You, you, you pray. still stealing, bro? You gotta pray about it. I used to be walking. No, okay. Never said, mind. I'm a thief. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, my man. That is hilarious. I was no, I really used to steal all the time for no reason. It was it was the most that ridiculous. That nigga was a fucking Yo, kleptomaniac. It was no reason though. Like that's why. Like I like I had. <laughs> I come from a decent background. Like I'm going to a nice house. Like I have no reason to steal. I just be like, yeah, I'm taking that. <laughs> like, I need why? that. Why? I, that. I don't know. Nah, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. Anyway, but but God but yeah, saved me. Yeah. So 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 that's 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 that. I'm I'm, I'm glad that you can see where yeah. we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can understand that. Um, hilarious though. Right after Kim Burrell, I wanted to talk about something that. Is close to us, okay, but maybe still far away from us, but still close to us. Like that and fan over there. Facts. <laughs> it's close, it's and it's funny because you stole out of Bodega. Yeah. These gentlemen were called the Bodega Boys. Oh, okay. 
Talk to me. Jesus and Mero. Yeah. I just heard. Now, it's interesting. I just heard. With these two individuals. Yeah. Because no matter what people want to believe or not, we were rivaling them at the earlier stages. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? of course. So. Oh, no, that's good. Bro, like, as I said, like. Like, Go ahead and get about like, the way. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So, what? Go so ahead. for those who don't know about just the Willow Wednesday's origin, right? We started literally like nine, ten years ago on alternative platforms, right? Just trying to get, trying to our, figure it out. Yeah, trying to figure it out yeah. what's working, what's not working. We did call in. We did the Twitter space, the Twitter hey, shit. Dude, we, we did, did that. We did live. We did Clubhouse. We, we did, was trying to open up the Clubhouse shit. We, we did. Yeah. We did mad shit earlier, earlier, yeah. right? And yeah. Jesus and Mero were always the name that we were compared against, right? Right. And I've well, we've watched them go from Twitter to fucking uh, what was it? Vice? Vice, yeah, Vice to fucking Showtime, yeah. We took meetings with Vice. <laughs> yeah. Vice was located in Brooklyn. Like, yeah. I remember being in their lobby like, yo, no, we're dope. Fuck out of here. Like, I remember that shit. And it pains me to report that Jesus and Mero have broken up. Oh. They're no longer a cohesive podcast. They, oh. they have separated. They've went their own separate ways. Mm. Um, they said it was creative differences no fucking wish the dark skin one my bad that's Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Jesus about to host some late night show shit yeah he got some so basically but you know what I said that though we've always said you that did. Jesus was kind of like the show guy and, yeah. and, 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 and um, Mero was like the uh, what's it the comic relief kind of yeah. you know what I'm saying like it's a real good idea and the shit is fucking great and and they talk about it and he's always just kind of like yeah yeah but it's stupid you know la 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 and I get it but yo I don't care I said they shit ain't better than our shit I don't care fuck it I'll say it did they get further than us faster than us yes and but okay well, we, we, I, we we not gonna spread podcast hate nope I'll just tell the truth <laughs> <laughs> when you say tell the truth shame the devil you know what I'm saying <laughs> okay you and um, your godly I'm in my yeah I'm in all day today got you I'm in my church bag no but I, I always love their show. I always thought our show was better if I had to compare, but I love that show. And once again, we, we look, we looked up to, to y'all, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like, no, they, they, like I said, this hits, it hits, it home. hits us personally. It hits home only because yeah. we was legit. Like the, the early, the early models of Willow Wednesdays was Jesus and Mero. Exactly. And even when they went to vice, we was like, Oh, we can get the vice. Then when they got the showtime, we like, Oh shit. We Let's can, be the vice. We, we can now be. We can now be vice, bro. We took meetings with vice. That's what I'm saying. So, I get it. Vice was in Williamsburg, bro. I, bro, I remember in the lobby, like, hey, what's up? Like, yeah, we 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 the next ones. I remember that. So when I saw this, it's gonna happen, baby. I'm not worried about it. No, I, I'm not saying worried. To be honest with you, I know they might like they might not give a fuck. No, of course not. Because it's not it's not world shaking news. No. But to me, when I saw it, I was like, "Wow, it's nuts that the people who I'm not going to say in competition with because clearly they they well, so, they I, I superseded." Well what, you, well, what do you call that? Like when you make an adversary, but it's so it's that thing that Michael Jordan did. How he'll make a make a problem out of nothing. Make a like, make a thing to achieve. So he'll find a reason, kind of. Yeah, That's what we did with these. Yeah, yeah. We did. We took these and personally because we was there. <laughs> yeah, we watching it. <laughs> I can always just see Michael watching the iPad. Like, no, but bro, we was there though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But bitching at their content. Wow. I, Ooh, two shots. Let's go. I'm wilding today. Yeah, you got that. These two shots. You gonna be <laughs> I'm smacked wilding tonight. today. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But no. But like, I remember being. Upset, like yeah. you dead ass. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna come off as hateful. I don't know. No, I, I, I don't fuck know. it. But that's why I say I'll make it plain. We thought our show was better. Like to be honest, we thought we had better content, right? But when a person achieves something, it's like I'm not shitting on your achievement. Yeah, I'm not saying 
bad you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, good. But I, when you know you got something better, it's just like, damn. You know what it is? I, I, what, I, what do you call that? It's I, like. I, as I'm saying, I, I can't find a word for it, but I, yeah. always, I always respected the fact that they knocked down doors. Bad doors. Because re, 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 let's be honest. When we started this shit, this wasn't the fad. No. Right? When we started this, this didn't exist. Exactly. The only one that existed that we remember was Drink Champs and Brilliant Idiots, bro. I don't know if you I, remember I, that. I, 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 oh, did we start before that? We started before Drink Champs. That's we started before Drink Champs. Um, Brilliant Idiots existed before us, though. I, I do know that the Joe Button podcast, he had like a different variation of it. He was on Twitch. But oh. he, was, he was doing some extra shit. I know that, and I know Brilliant Idiots. But remember... I, Bro, we started on call in radio. Like it was, it was. Oh, you going that far back? That's what I'm trying to say. The 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 whole. Okay. We made our own platform. Like, like okay. We did that, right? So, no. it, but the whole time. No, you're right. We started time, on Ustream. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So the whole time when we when we were doing this, there was always a Deza Samero. Right. Because they was on Twitter the, with the Wild Wild West days going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was following these niggas. Right. So okay. it's like. I forgot about that. I just that fast, yo. I'm trying to, but that's why honestly, when when I saw it first, my heart got heavy. I was like, "Fuck," because to see that to see that come to an end, I I honestly saw our mortality. Even though where we win is we're friends for real, and they yeah. they they were not. They were not friends. They 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 were made business partners, but they were not friends for real. Yeah, mind blown. So what happens is we're actually friends for real. So yeah. we can have a, a fucked up conversation. Like if be, we get to the bag and be right And back. then if we lose the bag, we're going to be on the phone the next day. Yeah, like, bro, like, uh, <laughs> how we lost that? But yeah, so that's, that's where yeah, we win. But I didn't know that they weren't friends, yeah, though. Th- yeah, th- they were manufactured. News to me. Yeah, they were so was it just two niggas on Twitter? Pretty much. And somebody was like, well, y'all. They, they, they knew of each other. And then somebody was like, oh, y'all should do something because you're there and you're there, but y'all are close and why not? I did not and know And then it turned that. into something, yeah. But that's important. It's very important. But that's, that's, important. How you can, that's how you can see after a while the creative <laughs> difference seeps in. Because they're two different personalities, yeah. which is good and it works for a business, but I can see if you're not. I thought they was best fucking friends. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because we saw the same thing with the brilliant idiot. Um, keep saying that. I'm sorry. If I say that one more damn time. Yeah, stop, stop with the Breakfast Club, another one. Gotcha. But remember yeah. when Charlemagne and Angelique was beefing? Yeah. And it was like obvious. They're not friends. Because for they're real. not really friends for real. All, those are business associates. It's a job. Yes. And it's like I if you, clock in, nigga, if you, you clock offend in. me, I got to come and show up for this job. So I'll do what mm-hmm. I got to do. But on some real shit, until you fix Fuck this, you. we're fucking yeah, co workers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's wow. Okay, that's but, news to me. I didn't know that, bro. Imagine that. Huh. So, okay. I, I promise you, I promise Damn, you. I didn't know that. I did one thing today. Yeah. The same, con- and, and it, it might be petty. <laughs> it might be petty, but fuck it. Yeah. But the same connect that we had at Vice back then, I sent the email today on some like, yo, so. <laughs> so, um, you know. <laughs> hey, okay, sir. Hell yeah. And I, I, I don't, don't want to. And, yeah. and, and Showtime not gonna bring the show back. There is an opening. But, 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 there's, but there's yet again another opening. Right. To some shit that we tried to fill. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm no, not, see what you're I'm saying. Not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna talk about. It. I'm not gonna talk about. No, nah, but this is interesting. I'm not gonna talk about. It. I'm not gonna talk about. It. It's a deep dive on no, this. It's, it's just it's, it's interesting only because we really have an insider track here. And yeah. the outsiders looking in would be like, what the, what the fuck are they talking about? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, they don't know. Like, fuck these, what, what the fuck are they talking about? Right. But little do you know how in tune this is. <laughs> and that's why I was like, I, I, we got to talk about it. I know you didn't know about that. Well, no, I did know about Dia Samero. Um, okay. I, I, yes, I found time to check my Twitter. Mm-hmm. And it was going down. Um, I reshared a video. I got to show you the video on Twitter real quick. Okay, I, it's a video. They took a video game, yeah. nigga, and it's a Timberland against a Jordan, and they throwing all the New York shit. It, 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 it's Street Fighter style. Okay, so they're going. 
put that in a cube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? But nigga, it's a Timberland boot fighting a Jordan, a Jordan <laughs> sneaker, nigga. And they throwing bacon, egg, and cheese and set each other. Yeah, yeah. They throwing all this. really New York. <laughs> I was yeah, like, yeah. yo, this is genius. That's hilarious. Fam, it's just all New York shit. It's like, it's, they just throwing everything. Like, mm-hmm. it's in front of a bodega. And they was like, this is Jesus and Meryl fighting. And I was like, y'all got to No, I, it, I love Twitter. But that's <laughs> that's what happened. And no, I, it, it, just, it just hurts. That's how I found it, out it about it. It just hurts because we, they were the benchmark. And, then, and and not only that, they was also, well, I guess that's the same thing as a benchmark. Yeah, but yeah. I was going to say what they were setting, they was opening doors to yes. where we know where we can go. Oh, yeah. They had David Letterman on their show, fam. They got Obama. They, bro, they got- Wait, but but well, I, well, I, let me just, on the David Letterman one, right? Yeah. David Letterman was like, I've been doing comedy for 50 fucking thousand years. He was mm-hmm. like, but y'all did what I was wanting to do in the 70s, nigga. Like, in in in. Eight years. Do you know what I'm saying? He's like, he was like, just sit and drink and shoot the shit with my boy. Yeah. He was like, I've been trying to do that for you. I've been doing the fucking David Letterman show. Yeah. Trying being, to get where y'all trying are. to do what the fuck y'all niggas did. Yeah. And I was like, yo, that's I never thought about that's that. That's a real like, moment. That's a real moment. David Letterman is literally telling him, I just retired from a 30 year career in what is that? Uh talk show whatever. Media. And y'all came through and did exactly what the fuck I thought. In a fraction of the time. And you didn't have to go through all the bullshit. Yeah. You know they got more money than Dave was making throughout all them years. Very true. Now, by the end, Dave was, you know, making the bag. Yeah, no, but he, he, in the end, yeah. The, yeah, oh. the end. But not but, in the beginning. But not in the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You a broke-ass TV host. But these niggas got to the back. Ba- he was like, I just, and he was, and, and, you know, if you watch that one, it's just a, it's an old man just so, I just, I just want the word. Free. Like, no, but he's so, like, enthusiastic. He, mm-hmm. Enamored, he's enamored with the fact that it good is word. happening. Yeah, yeah, we, we good word. Look at me looking at the wrong camera. In fact, ain't we no be camera there. ain't no camera there. Ain't no camera there. <laughs> we be out here writing, but he was <laughs> he was enamored, and he was just this is face. You know when somebody's like, he's like, okay, I'm fuck yeah. These niggas done did it. That's what he said. These <laughs> niggas here, <laughs> these niggas here, niggas, <laughs> niggas <laughs> done did it. <laughs> it was so cool to watch that from Dave Letterman. Like it was so cool. It was so cool, man. Mm-hmm. They'll be missed. But yeah, Twitter, Complex, Vice, Showtime, mm. end of an era. And it's it's ending bad. Like, they're beefing. They're beefing? It's, it's, it's bad. They, they calling each other out. They was, yeah. They know yeah. y'all New Yorkers is mad petty. Yeah, it's, it's New bad. York is mad petty. It's bad. New York is not mad I petty. Just, I just, I, listen, I just want, I want everybody to come out as a winner. I know it's not going to happen, but I yeah. just want everybody to come out as a winner. If you got separate shows coming or whatever. But these niggas, the, where they took it, they need to now open up doors for... It will. Like, that's, that's what they need to do. It will. But they, they need to be the ones who open the doors. Like, okay, I did wow. this. I need this behind me now. But I just... I don't know, Here's man. my network but I think of that, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, finding out that they're not friends, that changes everything. Because, like, since we name a podcast, I'm sorry... But like the 85 South guys, mm. that's another group we looked at once they started the pop. Mm-hmm. But I feel like they're friends. They're friends for real. Right? Like, So some little shit not going to break that up. Yeah. Yeah. So like if they broke up and went separate ways, I don't think it's nothing wrong with going separate ways if that's what you choose. But but that's going to shake some shit. Yeah. Because they're friends for real. And that, that's what I'm saying. That yeah. hurts. Yeah. Mm. Now I get that. I get that. Yeah. All but right. no, I, bro, I wanted to bring that up. just. Well, so could- once again. That means that there's an opening for us. I mean, yeah, you, know, you know. I'll say it. I'll be the dickhead. Oh, how, 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 how do we go from here? How do we go? Bro, I got some shit to talk about. How do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Um, Sorry, 80s. Mm. What we got? Talk to me. Kevin Samuel. Uh-huh. His autopsy was. Yeah, yeah. yeah it came out. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, so I know these it, topics. You yeah. ain't scaring me. Like, I, got, no, it, I no. thought it was going to be scary. Like, No, no, I, I got some shit. No, we, but I'm we, just saying we, I, yeah. I thought the topic. I've, I've, I've seen all this stuff too. Okay. Cool. So Kevin Samuel, his autopsy came out. Um, it just so happens that he passed away from hypertension. But we know what hypertension is? Yeah, it's fucking high blood pressure. It's, it's all the shit that black people normally die from, right? But what I want to speak to and okay. speak about is... 
how that news was received. The mob of people that hate Kevin Samuels Mm -hmm. literally said, oh, so you were killing overweight black women. You were killing the single mothers. You were killing all these marginalized groups. But you were living unhealthy. <laughs> and, and you. I didn't mean to laugh at that. No, I'm, no, sorry. I'm sorry. I just. I, God rest the dead. Uh, but that was a real laugh. I was, <laughs> no, but yeah. they have been shit. Bro, when they've been shitting on him. More so. Remember when he passed away and the news came out and everybody was like, oh, good for you. And it was, it was half and half. And it was like, how can you wish death on somebody? Right. Now, when the world found out about how he died, right. they doubled the fuck down. Oh, shit. It's been an onslaught. Oh, shit. Of just slurs and just jokes. How dare you talk about big, overweight black women when you died from high blood pressure? <laughs> Too much salt in your blood. Like, yeah, you died yeah. from that and you had the nerve to tell me that I was an unfit woman? Bro, he's been getting killed. I just want to know how you felt about that. Nah, we got to flip this. <laughs> nah, I, I, I need to know how you feel nah, first. I, I'm just saying. Like, I need to know how you feel first. How I feel about it? I need to know how you feel first. I want to flip this one. Because um, I always go first. I will say, okay, I got to read verbatim what was what, what was said, right? Okay. When um, he said this, what did we say? This is, this is his autopsy. His okay. autopsy said that his heart chambers were thicker than normal. Right? Okay. Um, which means... You were unhealthy. Yeah, we. Yeah, okay. but my my okay. So the way I feel about it, that's hypocritical. What's hypocritical? His death, or what they're saying? Yes, technically, um, he he died from something that he condemned women f- from doing. Well, he didn't say. No, no, no. I, I'll tell you what he said. Okay, talk to me. He said, um, "What do you rate yourself?" Right. You rate yourself what? But you're overweight. Um, you look a certain way. Yeah. You're not the healthiest. You're not this. You're not that. I've never so you heard can't him talk be... about health. I'm not going to lie to you. I've heard him talk about looks, and but, I don't want to conflate those two. But uh, I'm sorry, but that goes hand to hand. Well, no, because. Because someone who looks good. Actually, no, I disagree. Do you see what I'm saying? I, I disagree with that statement. What I was going to say was someone who looks good is healthy, but that's not the case. It's not the case. It's not the case. When, when, when he talks about weight, it's more so from a, um, how could you, oh, man, my words are not working. I'm not drinking my typical thing. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say I agree with what you're saying, even though you didn't get your point but out. But you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to rebuttal there. Okay. Once again, right. Even though you didn't get your I'm point gonna out. I'm going to try to, well, let me, I, I want to try to find the words. Because I'm a nigga who know how to talk. So it bothers me when my words don't, don't come out. Um, it's, it's just When you say health, we're talking about size. Size but, meaning fat. Yes, meaning but, fat but you're not assumes healthy. that you're not. Ass- but, being fat assumes that you're not healthy. But Dame, he's not healthy. So who the fuck is he to talk about health? Right, but that's what I'm saying. But. Like, how dare you, low key? <laughs> like, but. Because I thought he died. Because I, I thought he passed away. I'm spitting this shit. Sorry. Just spit it. I thought he passed away because he just he took a fucking Viagra. Yeah, they said and, it was a heart attack. Yeah, I, I thought he fucked and died because he was fucking. Well, That's but hypertension, thought. it's all kind of the same. Bro, no, he has too much fucking salt, my nigga. So he, his arteries were clogged. They were thicker than normal, bro. Like he passed away on some unhealthy shit. So it's like eating too much steak. So how dare you? <laughs> like how dare you say what you expect from what a woman? What was this thing? A un, uh, uh, unsomething man? Uh, uh, unfit. He said unfit. A, um, nah, but what he would say you need to be a da 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 man. It was his slogan or whatever. But what I'm saying uh, is, he passed from eating them expensive ass steaks and all that filet mignon. No, 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 no. I dis- <laughs> no, I disagree. Nope. nope no, 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 no. Can't give him no, that. I'm not giving him that. Just badass because, diet. Yes. And once again, I'm not blaming the victim here. The victim is him. He passed away. I'm not blaming him for you the way that people... blame a dead like, guy for dying? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to do okay. that. But at the same time, it's very hypocritical. And I can see why the world is not... Mind you, do I agree with it? No. But I can see why I mean, people got shit to say. Because there's no way you're going to condemn 
my way of living. There's no way you're going to condemn me and the people right. that look like me right. and act like me when you did the same and you died from it. Right. That's crazy to me, bro. <laughs> just, Fuck you, out of it, bro. I was going to argue, but you, you hit it no, with the... It's crazy to me, <laughs> nah, but bro. but you hit it with the bow. I was like, oh, shit. No, I bro, it's crazy to me. Right, you so, did what I did times 10 and died from it. There's no way you're going to condemn me, my nigga. There's no way. There's no way. You're wrong for that. I'm going to take the, uh, the opposite position. Okay. Wh- which makes this a show. Um, but damn, you said, but you died from it. Nigga, <laughs> yeah, when you said it. that, it's like, damn it. You, right. you can't win right now. Go ahead. I, I, died I, from I, it. I'll like, let you go. God go ahead. damn it. Okay. You, you, okay. You argue um, go ahead. Okay, sure. <laughs> he didn't do most of his condemning for people's healthy lifestyle living. Like, it wasn't a, a healthy lifestyle living show. Yeah. It wasn't like, everyone, let's do keto, let's do yoga, True. let's eat and drink a lot of water. Yeah, like, yeah, he wasn't. Like, that wasn't really what it is. Like, I for the it. most part, Kevin Samuels spoke for the, um, like, the, um, you said secular earlier, but he spoke for the bullshit part of life. The, the, the part where, like, nope, 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 I've been waiting on that cup to oh, empty. Shit. I mean, you saw it because you know me. You know me. Two shots, nigga. Go ahead. <laughs> I was with yo. Go ahead. <laughs> I pay what I owe. But don't, people, forget your, don't forget your point. I got you. But for don't the people watching, point. I was waiting on this cup to fit. That's all I was over there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't, don't forget yeah. your point. Yeah. Don't forget your point. That's one. I, I'll take my shot. Right, bump the mic. I got to take a double? You said it twice. You said the one on purpose and you said the one on accident. No, I know. I know. That, that shit pissed me <laughs> off. <laughs> you say, like, yeah, damn it. Yeah, all that straight. Bro, this is not a double, bro. Is a this double. is nuts. That's a double. That's a double, fam. That's what you got to do. And I'll be waiting on that cup to get empty. No, you know what Yo, on the real, we've been talking. You petty. I'm just, I'm you petty as shit. You petty as shit. I'm like, yo, so does that you cup You was waiting? Empty. I was like, yeah, that cup go empty. Uh-huh. And you know it when you went to get the bottle. I know it. I know it. That's why I know you. You looked at me like, uh-huh. He don't know. Yeah, I know this nigga the whole time. I'm like, uh-huh. Low key, I, I wish I would have took one shot, then took the next shot. Yeah, but we ain't having an extra cup, so now we got to know to have some extra cups if we if that's part of the game. Ah, uh, but go ahead, keep going, keep um, going, keep going. But he spoke I'm to the take my shot. Got it. He spoke to the superficial part of life. That's the word. The superficial, the superficial part of life is you rich, so you got a Benz. You rich, you know what I'm saying? You got money. Oh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Stop saying the B word. So. You rich and you got a Benz and you make, you know what I'm saying, a hundred million a year and that's the superficial part about life because super, super what? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you got the, what the fuck you say? Superficial. Superficial. <laughs> superficial. It. That's the superficial part of life. Like we, um, yes, we all want success. Yes, we all want to be rich. I got a song about everybody want to be rich. Everybody want to be rich and talk that shit. We all want to get there, but what happens is. A lot of times we're judged off of those things, how you look superficially, how much you make superficially, mm. your job, your status, your credit, all of that is superficial. So that's what he was speaking on. And he wasn't speaking about a healthy lifestyle. Mm. And, and I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So, like, for the people condemning him, him not living a healthy lifestyle, it just kind of doesn't matter uh, uh, to me. That's why I said no, I'm going to no, take the other point. It's, no, it's, I'm going to take the other point. It, it's, it's just tough because when, when someone is so loud about something, mm-hmm. it negates that because once again. Loud as Kim Burrell. See? Yeah, facts. But once again, I'm, I'm literally just playing devil's advocate just right. to progress the conversation, but. I, I don't think what he said was wrong. I don't think what he felt was wrong. I, don't, I mean, I didn't I, agree with everything, but... But the overall I message agree to with me, yeah. 70, 80% of but what he the said. The message though. to yeah. me wasn't wrong. But you look crazy hypocritical when... Bro, his biggest stance was on how women look and... But no, no, Dame, Dame. That was his biggest stance. He's like, "How dare you go for it. Demand this, this, and this go when you're it. a five. Like he always brought a number to it. Go for it. Like, he always did that. So it's like, you got hypertension. Does that make you a fucking? Are you a ten? Are you a high valued man? Va- there it is. Yeah, I va- told you it was a high, va- value, high man. value. High value man. I knew it's what like, something he said. But, but what he did, he 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 downgraded women on their value. Because of what may be going on with them. You got three kids, yeah. three baby fathers. Are you high-valued? Bro, you 45. 
You got hypertension. Right. You got clogged arteries. Are you a high-valued man? Should a woman now invest everything into you? You may not be here in five years, and he's not here. So it's like, are you high valued? And that's that's what that's what I'm saying. Like we we can't. It's a it's a great fucking conversation piece mm-hmm. because I'll start here. He wasn't a bad looking man. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't see Kevin Samuels. All right, you did it. You did it. You did it. You a G. You did it. You stand up. You know what I'm saying? Be a high value man. <laughs> like, I'm drinking juice straight. <laughs> that's all no, it is. Just juice straight. Juice. But oh my god. Um. He wasn't a bad looking man. So if you just okay. Let me say it like this. You gotta play equal with equal. What are we okay. saying? He's saying ladies, be a beautiful woman. Fine. If you're not, that's okay. But this is coming from a guy that's not a bad looking guy. Okay. I'm just as far as his we yeah, talking on his uh, terms. I'm not saying he's saying you ugly or be he's get 50 pretty. Years yeah, old. You know what I'm saying? Good looking man. Shit. Right. You good looking for fifty? He ain't look well. He did because the hairline. We be like, yeah, right, now nah, that's. I'm sorry, he looked well kept at well his kept. age. Perfect. He was a well kept. That's man. a perfect. That's yeah. perfect. That's perfect. So what he's saying is, ladies, be well kept. I'm well kept. Mm-hmm. He's to me. I feel like every time he was talking to a woman, I feel like he was using himself as as an example. Mm-hmm. You say make over six figures. He made over six figures. Yes. You want a man to take and do this and for you. You also have to be at the same, and that's what I'm saying. It's, but I, I never heard the conversation around health. That, that I've never heard that conversation. And I, I, and what happens is, I personally feel like it's it's implicit. That's that's okay. me because it, it comes with it. It comes with it. If you make over, if you make six, seven, eight figures, but you're gonna die next year, it don't matter. But to be honest, it don't matter. But women act like that's not important. I'll give case in point. If you tell a woman, I'm not going to die for the next 25 years because I'm healthy as a horse. Now, I'm healthy in a motherfucker. But I'm broke. Then I'm fucking with you. She's not going to say, that is great. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you are so healthy. <laughs> Yo, let me check them arteries. <laughs> hey, look at you, artery the, man. The upper atrium. <laughs> Let's is go, lit. baby. Okay, it's not clogged. You know what I'm saying? No hypertension on you. Yeah. You are the man for me. Mm. No. A woman would literally say, well, he going to die in a couple years. Cool. How much money you How made? much money <laughs> you making now? So can, can I sustain this lifestyle? Or... That's nuts. What's going on with your insurance policy? That's nuts. You know am, what I'm am, saying? Am, am I a beneficiary? Um, uh, I mean, am I and, a benefactor? So that's why I'm like, to me, this proves this point a little more. Because mm. y'all like, ah, you talking all that shit because you die. It's like, yeah, but son, like him being healthy don't change what he was saying. He still wasn't wrong. <laughs> like, he wasn't wrong. And you're right. He was not wrong. But. His it's a little blemish there. No, it's his, a blemish. His, his stance is misleading. It's misleading. He's it not is. wrong, but it's misleading. It's superficial, though. That's what I'm saying. It's all. No, but it's not superficial. Be- no, matter of fact, no, you're right. It is 100,000% superficial. But it's superficial because he made it superficial. No. I won't say he made it superficial. Mm. Uh, damn. No, no, no. I won't- I'll, I'll, I'll disagree with you there. Okay. Only, only because okay. this enough. individual literally was like, that's not becoming of a woman. That is not what I'm looking for. That is not desirable. Like he made the standard. He he was the standard for a while. But I, if you're gonna be the standard, you better fucking believe. You better not die. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you better not die off of no shit that's health related. But what after, after you came at everybody for their health? No, Dame. Come on now. Don't do that, Dame. Dame. He came at everybody. No. You overweight. You unattractive. You are 30 plus with three kids. He came at health That's factors. not health, though. It is health. No, that's looks. That's no. I'm serious, Overweight man. is health, not look. Not, no, actually, yes and. You are correct. That's what I'm saying. No, he but, didn't speak oh, He no, didn't speak to that so, from a health perspective. So, but he's still not wrong. If it's yes and, he's not wrong. All right. Two things can be true at the same time. It can be health and it can be looks. 
because me saying, yo, you're big. And because you are big, right. you are unattractive. But that also makes you unhealthy because you're big. So I can cover both spectrums. But you can also be, and I'm, and I'm, t- I'm only telling you this as a, as, a, as a nigga who grew up chunky his whole life. Mm-hmm. You, you can, can be, be, you big, nigga. You can be. You was unhealthy too. You Shit. can be healthy and have weight on you. Like that is something that, number one, I hear big women say all the time. I hear people say all the time, and that's something like it's a yeah. But then, but I have to be honest. Now, but, obviously, there's nah, a point. No, damn. no. Let me just speak to this because go this ahead, is some, go ahead. This is some, it's, it's, it's a myth. But I get that. I'm not it's, arguing with that. I get but no, that. But I, but I think it's bullshit. Kevin Samuels wasn't fat, but my nigga died of hypertension. He was unhealthy. But it's mad fat motherfuckers who don't got hypertension. Is what cool. I'm saying. And 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 what I'm trying to say is that wasn't the point. But that, but, well, no, but no, no, that's no. what he's speaking no, to. No, no, but, but hear me out. What happens? He's not speaking by himself. He would get somebody on camera who was 4'11", 350 pounds. Right now, is she unhealthy or is she just? Yes, four eleven, three fifty is unhealthy. Bro, you're a midget. No, you're how strong sorry. she is. No, you're a little person <laughs> and you're that big. No, that's Cornel, unhealthy. Cornel, how strong she that's is. That's not healthy. Cornel, how strong she if is. you say you 6'2", 215, cool. I get it. That was never the case. So maybe his marketing team always found the extreme. But what happens is he'll be on camera with somebody who was 5'6". 300 pounds. It would always be that, yeah. What the fuck? With like four kids. You're not going to tell me. Exactly. Yeah. You're not going to tell me that that's yeah. healthy. Yeah. Yeah. So either they marketed that or I don't, I don't know. I can't speak to that. I wasn't there for that. I, I hate this conversation. But that's not healthy, bro. Because these conversations are just such good. There's such a good argument point. No, it's, it's like it's great what is it? What they say is, 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 is half a dozen and, and what is this? Half a dozen or six... Uh, Fuck, I forgot the frame. I don't know what kind of old ass frame you talking about. What the fuck is that? This is in the seventies, huh? Nah, the old phrase is like it's half a dozen yeah. or it's six it's like a half of the six on the other half whatever. a dozen or whatever. I'm gonna try no, to find no, it. No, because you an old nigga. I'm, ta- <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck you're talking about. Old, it's like when they say a rock in a hard place. Uh, nah, you know I mean? nigga, no, because because we get a rock in a hard place. You, <laughs> you said a half a dozen it's and a, six or what? It's, it's an old phrase. Whatever, Gee, man. Jesus. Y'all dive turkeys don't know what the fuck I <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm trying to fuck it with y'all, Jack. Yo, Jack. <laughs> Shit. I'm done speaking to y'all, Jack. Nah, that's hilarious. You want beef, chump? <laughs> Listen, like, I'm going to say this. <laughs> I'm going to say this. We got to get serious real quick. Oh, more serious. Got you. That More serious? I, that wasn't serious. Kevin Samuels wasn't serious. Only because I, I want to end with something that I feel like we will all enjoy. So I, we got to get these out the way. Oof. The dark jokes that went through my head. Wow. Go ahead. I'll say it. <laughs> um, What's next? Policing in the United States. I want to talk about it because I, I used to be a thief, bro. <laughs> yeah, facts, yeah, facts, facts. You stole. I used to steal, and then went to church. Went that's to church. nuts. But I love that story. It's I feel story. like that's the story that we should hear. Like, <laughs> exactly. before, like it, we cut that, that up. That that makes me a better Demo fan. Like, I, <laughs> I I can resonate with a nigga like Demo now. Like, that's crazy to me. That's I a, came into church through the back. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I walked into church stealing shit, bro. Like, that's hilarious. Anyway, I'm sorry. So Ty's an author and I took Policing, that. policing. My bad, my bad. I don't want to No, but. <coughs> did I talk about policing? I it? did take money out the time thing. I, I did do that. Wow, yeah. you took money out the tithes yeah. and offering. I had to do it. I was like, you had I to gotta was, do this. Was like a gang initiation. <laughs> I, was just, like, I was just like, I got. If you down with the stones, you know what? You now I think I know why I stole. The, that's I crazy. stole so I can have these stories. That I wanted to be like, yo, I stole tithes, nigga. Really? So you had the foresight. <laughs> you, yo, I hate you, my nigga. Yo, the, the words that you say are nuts to me. You said I had to cause, so I could have the stories. What? I, that's so only, at 15, you knew you were going to have a podcast and you just wanted to steal so you could have stories for your podcast? Fuck you, bro. No, fuck you. No, fuck you. 
Fuck you it. know what? We're going to break this show up. We're going to call this show Dame Stories. Nigga. If none of your friends are going to be real with you, I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> fuck you for that. That false sense of fuck. No, fuck hey, man, listen. About. I've been out here, That's man. That's terrible. I've been out here. Bro, we got some shit to talk about. No, no, come through. Come through. Come through. We got I'm shit to talk about. about. I want to talk about policing in this country. All right, what's happening? We've had, in the hip-hop community, we've had numerous situations, but... yeah. This week alone, we've had two situations with two of our more prominent people. Okay. With law enforcement. Okay. We've had uh, Boosie. Okay. And we've had Styles P. Oh. Mind you, it's amazing. And shit literally, yeah, I saw that. But shit literally writes itself, Dame. All right, let's do it. Boosie's in Atlanta. Yes, of course. Styles P is classically New York. Where are we from? Well, you're from Chicago, but we're Originally. talking about Atlanta, we in Atlanta and New York. York. But you, you're you adapted by New York, right? So now yeah. we're talking about two people from two different regions that we we frequent. That's why we need to talk about it. Okay. Um, Boosie was pulled over, then was detained. Okay. Then was released. That's good. Then was given a citation. What the fuck? That's literally what happened, Right. Um, we could dive deep into that. <laughs> Bruh. He's driving. He has a brand new car. Um, the cop that pulled him over said, I could not read your license plate. Okay. That's why they pulled him over. I mean. I go further. We got to go further because that's a. I go further. Go and, further. And go I, further. I, I'm not going to give an opinion. I'm just going to give, just go, the, give me a little more information. Give me, and then we'll talk about it. A little it, bit right? more information. So, right? Yeah. This is the first time I'm hearing this story, by the way. And that's why I love this. Let's I, do it. I love this. I'm here for right? it. He was pulled over because the cop am could I, not. Am I Mero? Damn. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go no, ahead. No, we're, we're better than them. Fuck <laughs> that. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Way better. But no. He was pulled over. Uh, 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 Boosie was pulled over. Sure. Um, because the cop cannot see the license plate. They had weed in a car. So then it manifests into, oh, you have a controlled substance in the car that's illegal in this state. He was in Atlanta? Yes. Okay. So now it goes from, I can't see a license plate, to, oh, you got weed in the car. They were detained Officially then released. Okay. Right? I wanted to speak to you because we have someone who's near and dear to us who is now police. And I spoke to them about the situation. Yeah. And I got an answer that I was very proud of because oh. I, I would, I would, you would think that they would take the police stance. Yeah. But even with being police... They were like, nah, that's wrong. Mm. So I wanted to talk to you about it. Mm. How the fuck, broad daylight, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay. A car passes me. I'm the cops. I look at the license plate. Right. I can't read the license plate, so it must be a problem. I go a little deeper. Pause. Cops have um, body cam body cams on them, right? We'll be great at charades. Listen, <laughs> the three cops that were involved all had their body cams on. Off, uh, on, off. on, on. They walked past the vehicle multiple times, showing clear shots of the, the license fucking plate. license plate. Yeah. Why are we stopping you for a fact that we can't see your license plate when we can see it? Okay. I want to talk about this. My bad. Because I was going to say, talk, I was going to. We're talking about police. I was going to say something. Like, I was going to, for three seconds, defend the police and then call them out on their bullshit. Okay, which is cool. You can All do right. that. But now that I heard that, I'm like, yo, fuck them. <laughs> like, the way I feel. Um. My bad. I just took a second because I for real. All right. Bro, take your time. Ain't no rush. So, we know I'm from the suburbs. Yep. 
So in the suburbs, you always got a car, you always drive, and you always doing whatever you do. Yep. So cops find any reason they can to stop you. The license plate thing is one of those things that's is sketchy. But they, it gets on my fucking nerves because it's like, I do want to identify you, and we can't. So now I'm going to stop you. Mm. So that's why like, it fucking bothers me. That is my three second of, defi- of de- defending them. All right? Trust me. Yeah. But fuck yeah, them. Yeah. 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 It's like, I understand what you're saying, sir. Yeah. <laughs> right? So I give you another one. I give you one that I got stopped. Real quick, I won't even, give, I won't even go story time. It's really quick. Mm. One day, we was going, matter of fact, I knew we was going skating. Niggas in the car, we piled up. You know how I go. We drive into the rink. We stop at the store to get some juice. Yeah. Low key, anything. chasers, whatever. You know how I go. But we run in the store. We get what we get. We come out really fast. Like, we just run in, go in, boom. Ain't nobody yeah. in line. Bow. We like, all right, for sure. Get your guy. Bow, 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 bow. We walk the fuck out. Pull off. Get yeah. stopped. And I'm like, why are you stopping us, officer? <laughs> like, he was like, your license plate lamp was out. And I was like, license plate lamp? I was like, I'm going to be honest, sir. I didn't even know I had a license plate lamp. Dane, we're going to have a very nice conversation about this. Yeah. So he was like, I couldn't see a plate because the lamp was out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I got a license plate lamp? <laughs> I was like, I, and I made a joke and it made him laugh. I was like, you mean I got bulbs I got to replace? I was like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't even know this shit. Like, I, I was like, I was like, no, I'm, I was like, now nah, I'm mad. Like, and so I'm making jokes, trying to make mm-hmm. ease. Like, I'm telling them in the car, why y'all ain't telling me that uh, my license plate need lights, nigga? Like, I'm making jokes. And he was like, well, yeah, okay, yeah, that is kind of. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, my nigga? Like, mm-hmm. I don't I didn't even know that. Like, you serious? And that's, that's what he, and, and so, so what he said, he didn't do nothing. But what he said to me was, well, your license plate always has to be identifiable. And I was like, oh, that's that bullshit. I was like, obviously, but... So I, I, I'm going to tell you how... And that really happened to me, fam. I'm going to tell you how the law has multiplied. Mm-hmm. And the law has metastasized, Uh-oh. which beats your word, by the way. That's the word of the night. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I win because you're not going to beat that word. Cool. So, All right. For the next 15, I'm going to yeah, keep going. I'm going to keep going. No, you, think I, about it. I said enamored. Think about it. I said no, enamored no, no, I, tonight. I beat you. So that word has metastasized to bad, yeah. say. So far, so far. You got it. So far, nigga, we about to. It ain't over. It's over. It's not for you. Whatever. Uh, not, for, not for me. Cool. It's over for you. <laughs> ahead, it's slow. But what happens is. um, We. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Please. Something can stupid. multiply something. Yeah. To make it something. And right. I know that was very bland. Yeah. yeah but yeah. I hope I, I just made my point there. Right. So. Yeah. No, I get it. It metastasizes. You got it. I know you didn't want to repeat it. I'm not you didn't gonna, want to I'm drag gonna, it. It's I'm all right. Not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna drag it. <laughs> I got you. You can say it. I ain't gonna drag it. Right. <laughs> it's all right. Good work. But I got you. Because one thing happened, it led to this, and then it led to that. Right. But that's how police work. So now. I'm not even gonna speak about your situation because that that pissed me off too. Nigga, I'm, what? I'm, 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 that, that that pissed me off. I'm gonna keep it on this Boosie shit. Okay, gotcha. Boosie was driving. No, I'm sorry. He's a passenger of a car. He, he wasn't even driving. He wasn't even driving. He's a passenger of a vehicle. All right, so this is all bullshit. He's a passenger of a vehicle. Yeah. They said that I could not see your license plate, which all that means is the cop needed probable cause. Yeah. They have a whole fucking rule book to go off of. License plate not so, being seen is probable it's, cause. It's probable cause. So I just I don't have to prove anything. Mm-mm. I just have to say I have to give you reason as to why I stopped you. And it pisses me off because this is what the cops did back in the seventies with the taillight. You have a busted taillight. No the fuck I don't, but it's busted. Psh, they're busted. They're busted. They're shit. busted and be like yes. Yeah. It's busted. A busted taillight. So you it, got stopped for I can't see your license. Boozy hopped out the car like, what the fuck you mean you can't see my license? My shit legit. My my car is valid. Right. I'm I don't I don't owe nothing. Like it's a twenty twenty two car. Right. Like everything is brand new. Of course you can see my license plate. Right. But if the cop says he can't see it, right. you're done here. That's step one. So, I can't see a license plate. 
that means I can stop you. Yes. Then I smell weed in a car. Right. That gives me probable cause. Right. Now, in y'all state, are out. Weed's still in, uh, it's illegal in Atlanta. It's illegal in Atlanta. Yeah. But mind you, you can have a fucking firearm and carry. Yeah. But in New York, you can have weed but no, no firearm. firearm yeah. Bro, it's nuts Like to he me. can have a, 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 um, a rifle on his lap. And be like, how you doing? Are and, we good with this? And be okay. Yeah, but bro, it smells like weed. Yeah. Bro, it's nuts to me. It's nuts to me because if there's no continuity with the fucking... Well, let me let me ask you before before the point gets skipped. What happened to Styles P? I, I, no, no, I, no, I was going to get there. Okay, I just I was going to get there. All I, right. Trust me, I, the get skipped. No, we got to talk about that. Okay. Um, I, I just want to bring this full... I want to bring this home with the, 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 the boosty shit. Right. Um... The vehicle he was in was registered. Everything was good. Yeah. The paperwork is good. Sure. Everything is legit. They said, because we stopped you mm-hmm. on a, a, a license that we can't see, yeah. we now smell weed. So we're going to flip your whole car. They put them in handcuffs. They detained them. Set them on the curb yeah. and shit. They're we're going to sit you over yeah, here. Yeah. We need to search your car now because we, al- we smell weed. Of course they find weed. Yeah, be but. It's pretty regular. Like, that's not but, even a... But you stopped me on some bullshit. Yeah. Cool. That's that. Um, Styles P now. There was a young lady. Um, she works for Uber or, or, or DoorDash. Lyft or, or no, something. Lyft. One, one of those services. Um, Styles P, Jada Kiss, they own a juice bar in Yonkers. Right? It's one in Brooklyn, too, by the way. Yes. Have you seen it? I have. It's, it's right I, I, by where, where we used I, to live, bro. Like bro it's, I've, I've been there. I've been there. I a drove past. Times. Like, is that the yeah. fucking? I've been there a couple of times. I forgot yeah. what it's called. V- veg but or something. In in right Yo, in, in Yonkers, uh, yeah. they, they they got the, the juice bar. Yeah. That's their spot. It just so happened an individual who was either picking up an order or dropping off an order for DoorDash. Okay. They're on a moped. Okay. They pull up on the sidewalk. All this makes sense. They, you know, they, I, they, I did DoorDash for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They so park. I get it. Yeah. Cops then roll up on this young lady and says, you were driving erratically. And because you're driving erratically, I'm now going to arrest you. Because she had, cause you got to go around the curve. Bro, you got to swerve. You, gotta, you, you do. Get, you got to get a little bike. Line, you yeah, gotta, it looks weird, you, but you we know it. Little, bro, you, 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 <laughs> you, 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 you see him do it all the bro, time. Bro, you, Kick that Bro, shit. we live next door. We live next door to a Chinese restaurant. Do you know how many times we seen the motherfuckers? Pop, hit it. Bro, boop, boop. you go from the chup, street chup, to chup. the sidewalk. You click the shit. You, you. Uh. Yeah, yeah, chup, chup. and it's always a chirp. <laughs> so this yeah. individual did that same thing, but cops were around and it looked weird to them. Hmm. So they rolled up on Shorty. It's a girl. Yes. Okay. Wow. In front of once again, Jada Kiss and Style, yeah, yeah, yeah. Style P, their restaurant, yeah. uh, the, the, the juice, juice bar. bar, juice bar. So, long story short, the cops end up slamming Shorty on the floor. Ground, sorry, not the floor, the ground. Slamming Shorty. What the fuck are you doing? Stop resisting! Bow. Hold that. After she was already handcuffed. Wow. So Shorty is handcuffed. For reckless driving on a moped. That was the charge. The charge is reckless driving on a moped. She's handcuffed. It's a ridiculous She's then charge. slammed. Right. Somebody with the, their camera's like, whoa, what are y'all doing? Styles P runs out of the fucking uh, the juice bar. Yeah. Wildin'. Fuck out of here. Y'all niggas is wrong. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, how yeah. dare you? We know, we you? know how our styles go. Styles but go it's hard. Styles P, bro. He like, go hard. It's yeah. Styles. I still think Jewels is better, but it's Styles. It's Styles. He's not the most. He's not the best spoken, but he's gonna give you his mind. Like he's he gonna speak what he gotta fucking speak. He's my ex favorite rapper. Boy, not pussy at all, bro. I, I love I, Styles. I people. just want to give a shout out without saying her name. He, he's my ex's favorite rapper. Okay. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. I remember. She's my ex favorite rapper. She'd be like, Nah, fuck that. Styles on this, I love it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, but go ahead. bro, so <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just joking. Go ahead, go ahead. So that's the scenario. That's the situation. 
Uh, we have a, 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 a young black what woman. What happens to Styles, though? I'm going to tell you. The, the, a young black woman is slammed by okay. the police. Yeah. Styles is now confronting the police. Yeah. He's calling them all type of B words. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's cussing them out. It's yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They calm Styles down. Shorty is still arrested and booked. Because when. Over a DoorDash order. Literally. Mind you, I've, I've went to not the one in Yonkers, but I went to the one in Brooklyn and picked up an order. I've done the same thing, but I'm listening. So, Go ahead. Wow. <laughs> we're speaking about it now. Yeah. Did anything happen to Styles? Like, I just, okay. Uh, we're speaking about it now. Okay, my Styles bad. Is, Styles is now giving his whole account of things, but he's speaking to policing in the neighborhood. Right. And that's what I wanted to speak to you about. Cops. Do you think cops should be of the neighborhood that they police? 1,000%. So we're on the same page. Okay. Our mutual friend that is a cop. Yes. Is literally going to be a cop in the neighborhood that he's not from. And it's uh, it's kind of fucked up. Because that's the stuff. But you don't know how these people communicate. You, you that's don't, it. You don't know the that's mannerisms. It. You I'm, don't. I'm a big, being that I'm a person who moved from different cities, Mm -hmm. Chicago moves in a different way than New York. Mm -hmm. New York moves in a different way to Atlanta. Atlanta moves in a different way than LA, whatever it is. You know? That's a fact. It's very, very, very important that you understand how people move. And like, now that we've been here in the streets in Atlanta, I'm noticing shit that like, for me, red flag in Brooklyn. Yeah. Not a red flag in Atlanta. It's cool. You want a story? Story? Yo, this is story. Yo, I feel blessed to get all these fucking <laughs> stories with you, bro. Go ahead. So What's the next story? This happened yesterday. Like, this wasn't even wow. crazy. Wow. Nah, nigga. I said a story? This is a recollection. Yeah, dude. nah. <laughs> yesterday, I went to the chicken spot. I was hungry. I just wanted some wings. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, let me find a spot. You know I live in the hood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I go to the hood. It's next to a grocery store. Walk up. 35 niggas outside. 35 niggas. I'm like, shit. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I might got to fight. I'm I'm, I'm, might gotta, said, I'm cool. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I'm new. I don't talk like niggas. You know, niggas come to the ad, boy, what the fuck? My fight shit. Chop it. I'm like, I, I don't yeah. understand y'all language yet. It's like, like give me give me time. You real Brooklyn I, I right had now. To, yeah. Like, yeah, I had to learn yeah. how like, to talk like a Brooklyn about, nigga. Yeah. Like, I had to learn how to talk to y'all niggas. What you talking about? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. <sighs> breathe, Dame. Walk into the spot in Atlanta. Mad niggas outside. In East Point, Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, East Point, Brooklyn. I like that. East I Point, walk Brooklyn. in. It's the same nigga shit like New York. The nigga see me walk in. I say on the counter, he walks away. And I was like, mm-hmm. that's cool. That's typical. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's typical. All right, I get it because you busy. It's mad niggas in there. I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm wearing Ewings. Yeah. Which don't make no sense in Atlanta, by the way. Yeah. Like Ewings, yeah, yeah. bro. Fuck. Bro. That's classic Blows New York. They- that's classic New York. Blows their fucking mind though. Like mm-hmm. they're like, what? Oh! Like I've seen niggas like do that. And I'm like, mm-hmm. like, oh my god. I'm just a fan of this shoe. Yeah, I'm, a, yeah. I'm a geeky dude. Yeah. You know. But they like, shit. Goddamn. Goddamn. You and nigga. Goddamn. Shit. Nigga. The, 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 you got the, those. You, the, the, like, but yeah. the accent. The, the, yeah. the shit. The goddamn. The motherfucking cat, the goddamn you and, and I'm yeah. like, it's too much. To, but okay. So wait. So wait. Y'all not gonna rob me? Okay. So we. It's a good thing. Okay, cool, cool, I'm here. We talking about shoes. Boom. Here to get chicken. Bow. Got you. But then I saw some nigga do some shit I've never seen before. He mm. was smoking a cigarette, came up to the chicken spot. He didn't walk in because he like, I was smoking a cigarette. Mm. Place was about to close. So from the door, he like, hey, I want some motherfucking chicken, nigga. Like, what's up? I ain't going to walk in. Respect because I ain't supposed a cigarette. But yo, yo, put my shit on. I know you're about to close. Nigga, what the, what, what's up, nigga? Like, and the nigga was like, yo, relax. And I'm just like. But they put his order in. But what happened was. The things that came out of his mouth was like all disrespect. Mm-hmm. It was nah, cuz you got me fucked up, nigga. I'm the shit. I fucking that blow this shit up. Nigga, fuck you mean, nigga. I want my motherfucking chicken. I was like. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm sitting there like, oh, shit, it's about to go down in the chicken spot. Yeah. It wasn't at all. 
He ended up just. It was a regular conversation. <laughs> Barbecue with the goddamn. I was yeah. like, what? As the no, but bro, as the cashier, I'd have been like, bitch. <laughs> Oh, I got myself. Yes. Shit. Yes. I took a double. Go ahead. Take your shot, nigga. I do it, I do it. Yeah, no, no, you got no, no honestly, choice. I hate this shit straight, too, you man. No choice. You see, I, I chase it. So I, I, I hate this shit straight, too. Yeah, take that shot. I don't drink it yeah, shit. Nah, oh, I, took, I took a whole double and a half because you poured wild shit in my cup. I no, gave no, you a double. Take a shot. No, no, yep, take it. Let's a, talk about it. Let's no, continue. No, yeah, I, I will. I will. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, man. Ooh, yes. Oh, I hate this shit straight yes. to niggas. Oh, I hate this shit straight. Bro. All down here. Arthur Hand. Arthur Hand. Yeah. Arthur Hand. All day. Nah, Arthur that's Hand. funny. But that's nigga, funny. I saw them. And then when I walked out, literally I got the food left. And I walked out and a nigga popped a firecracker. <laughs> Scared the shit out of him. The I walked out and like, bow. I was like, oh, no, let me keep cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm like I'm a Brooklyn nigga Let me chill out You know That's what I'm saying That's hilarious And then all I hear them saying is Damn boy that shit sound like God damn good shit nigga. I'm like I know nigga But what I'm saying is I'm le- Once again Culture You gotta learn What the fuck brought me here yeah, Yes yes. What were we talking yes. about My bad I'm, 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 I'm off on a You on a tangent To be honest What was the topic Oh policing Yes Because Yes you asked me Should police be from the same neighborhood. Yes, my nigga, because I, if I was a cop, I'd arrested all of them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my point. <laughs> I'm sorry, long ass point, people. But <laughs> all y'all niggas doing fraudulent activities out this motherfucking nigga. Yeah, relax. In my head, you selling drugs, you popping guns, that's you smoking crazy. cigarettes, nigga. Fuck all y'all. I can't see none of y'all license plate. <laughs> it's a wrap. Crazy. So. I understand that one piece about police, but yes, you should police your neighborhood. Um, if I was policing Crown Heights, mm-hmm. I'm a different cop. You know that. If you was poli- bro, if you was policing Crown Heights, bro, bro. Yo, you know how cool the cops we would have been. But that's <laughs> to be honest with you, I, I I agree with that fucking bro that rudimentary. Belief that we all have, I agree with it. The people from that neighborhood should police that neighborhood. Yeah. And yes, I understand. Yeah, cool. You may have that one off where somebody allows some shit that it's happens. It's always going to be some bullshit. We get that. Yeah. But more but times than not. More times than not. And it pisses me off because the white community to me never takes this for consideration. But we don't want to see crime in our neighborhood either. No one wants to see crime in their so neighborhood. So if some bullshit happens, we're going to speak on it. Yeah. I, I feel like they feel like we go to the most extreme lengths to 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 prove our people innocent regardless of what they do. And I don't think that's the black community. I feel like... Mm, this is good. Bro, bro mm, I feel like we all have that thing in us. It's like, yo, I agree with that. I don't agree with that. That's cool with me. That's not cool. We all have that fucking spectrum in us. We all have that. We all have that thing in us that lets us know what's good and what's not good. Right. Right. And I feel like no matter the situation, we can look at something and be like, you know what? I'll get behind that. Yeah. You know what? I'm not. I won't won't fight with that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that gets taken away from us. And that's the issue with me. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's no reason. It's no reason in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, there's little small Italian cops walking around patrolling. Bro, it makes not, absolutely bro, no bro, fucking not sense. From our neighborhood. Period. And we know that because we know what Crown Heights, yes. Flatbush is. Now, if it's a Jamaican ass cop, if it's a motherfucking guy in these cop walking around, now shit, it's like, it's like, so I, 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 I go a step further. You suck your teeth, you know what it bro, means. I go a step further. I've been on the parkway, bro, late night. Yeah. With the homies. Bro, we just know. Just arguing about whatever. Whatever, drinking. We could be talking about G unit. Bro, we've done this after the parade. And, out loud. The motherfucking nigga, 
arguing, doing everything. But, but we having the most heated of debates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guess what? To us, it's nothing. It's nothing. To the cops around? To the white cop. It's the biggest from argument. Plainsville, that, New York. That's about to be a shootout. That's about to He's be like, a hold on, guys. Movie. It's like, what the fuck? You, you, yeah. No, th- th- this yeah. is me yeah. and my niggas yeah. talking yeah. our shit. And that's my issue. It's the same thing in Chicago. It's the same thing I see in Atlanta. How do we fix that? Like, that's the question I have. How do we fix that? Because if well, y'all doing y'all thing and y'all arguing what you're arguing, I'm not, I'm not saying that that's... Bro, uh, let me give you that once again. I'm just I, I want to be the the other the other opinion. For mm-hmm. now, I'm playing devil's advocate. Yeah. Um, our mutual friend that's becoming a cop mm-hmm. told me the, the illest shit I've ever heard. He was like, "Y'all don't really understand that cops is really about authority." Mm-hmm. I never heard this point before. I was like, so. You know I'm an argue ass nigga. I'm an yeah. argue. You, the fuck, fuck you, you mean? Fuck, fuck yeah! Like talk to me, nigga. Like yeah. fuck. He was like the cops are taught to always be in control, no matter what. Mm-hmm. Whether you feel comfortable or you feel uncomfortable, it don't you're matter. In control. You're in control because yeah. you're the cop. Yep. So what happens is you get a whole bunch of white fucking cops, and they see some shit with black folks that they don't understand. But guess what? Yeah. They're not in control. Yeah, and they don't like that. Because they're, but they're, they're taught that. Yeah. As cops, not as black or white or I Jamaican no, or I, I, Spanish I or whatever. Dianese, as a yeah. cop. Yeah. You have control. So they're like, whoa, whoa, what is this? What is this? What is the party? This is a, this is a fit? What? I'm not, no. I didn't authorize shut, this. I didn't, yo, shut this shit shut, down. Shut it down. Yo, wait, whoa, whoa. Or, or I'm fucking shit up. Period. That's it. Y'all niggas in the car doing nothing? Wait a minute. I don't understand what's going on. What the fuck? Shut this shit down. Mm-hmm. Y'all in the building shooting a pot? I don't even know what the fuck a pot. I don't list the pot. Yo, what the f- Shut this shit down. I get it. Because I'm in control. I get I'm it. I'm the cop. And that's what they're taught. And I was like, yo, that's wild. That's a wild thing to really think. Like, imagine... That type of mindset. I, I get it. In any situation, bro, you walk into a church. Fuck this church. Y'all praise it. Yo, I don't know. Shut this shit down. Yeah, I'm going to keep going. I want to keep going. Just be a dick. That's funny. That's funny. That's <laughs> you funny. in daycare. All these kids on swings. <laughs> Fuck this swing. Shut this shit down. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the most ridiculous shit. Like, a, y'all at McDonald's? You flipping burgers? Yo, fuck that shit. Shut, Shut this, this shit down. down. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> hilarious. Like, but seriously, fam, that's what they talk. Mm. So now that I know that, mm. it makes me look at the cop differently. When the cops say, I don't, I don't see I a don't, license plate. I, I don't want to arrest you. Like, I don't want. But I don't understand. And because I don't understand, I got the authority to shut the shit shut down, Shut the shit bro. down. Whatever's happening. Y'all getting married? I don't know. None of these motherfuckers in this wedding. <laughs> shut that shit down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Like, you at the museum? I don't know. None of these exhibits. Yeah. Yo, shut that shit down. Shut that shit down. <laughs> like, no matter what. <laughs> no, so that's... I'm sorry. That's but hilarious. But that's really what... It, you know, and I didn't know that. I didn't know that perspective. So now it changes when I see them. Because what cops is always trying to do, now that I know, they're always trying to make sure that they have the authority. So now when I look at security guards and I walk past and I'm like, so you're not mean mugging me because I'm a big black man. You just want to make sure that me being a big black man, you have the ability to shut shit down. Mm-hmm. Bro, I ain't know that shit, fam. In real life. I didn't no, fucking know that. that's big. And once that's I heard big. that information, I was like, that makes sense. That's why cops come in. Like, what the... What y'all got going on over here? That's what nice. is this? What are you doing? Why are you standing here? Because you ain't shut shit down. Because. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, stupid. Oh, shit. But I just learned that shit about cops. I didn't know that. I'm not defending them motherfuckers, but fuck them. But, yo, now that I know that. So think about that the next time you watch a cop. Mm-hmm. What he's thinking is, I just got to make sure that. 
if I feel like shutting shit, I, I have the, I am the authority. Mm-hmm. And I'm pointing to his because, you know, the belt, you know, they always mm-hmm. <laughs> on their belt, nigga. The fucking belt. Yeah, the fucking belt. That's what he's thinking. He's not thinking police the community, help you, help your child, help your I, wife, help I your. I get it. He's thinking, nah, if shit go down, I got, yeah. I'm the authority. I'm the one, yeah. That's what he think. Every fucking cop. And that's how they talk, fam. Real talk. So now, when I look at the situations, yeah, you got the Derek Chauvin niggas, and I'm not finna go into that topic because yeah, it's too yeah, deep. Yeah, yeah. There are niggas that OD and go too far. But they're taught to control the situation. I had no fucking idea, fam. Mm-mm. When that nigga, when he told me that, dog, fuck me up. I was like, because I ain't never been taught that. Mm-mm. Are we done or you want to? Bro, you... Talk to me. What you want to do? If you got one more, I'll do one more. Just um, get about it. I'll cool. do one more. I'll pour my one last drink. Get the fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Pour, pour your drink. Last one, though. I got some shit to talk about. Okay. It's funny, but it's real, but it, 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 it's, it's relevant. It's real funny. <laughs> got it. Just Stupid. Okay. Angela Simmons. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you for... Th- what? Yeah. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking yeah, with you. I'm yeah. fuck yo. I didn't know that that was going to be a topic. I'm, I'm that nigga, bro. I'm fucking with it. I'll give you that one. Nah, bro, I'll give you that one for this Angela one. Simmons. Let's go. Was on, Come on the runway. Come on now. It, it was it was, it was was a swimsuit. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that happened. Nah, yeah, yeah. I, know, I know what you did. Totally I know what you did. I know what you did. No. Come on, talk that shit, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Let's go. She modeled for Mac Collection yes. on Miami Swimsuit Week. Come on now. Right? In all her glory, in all her gloriousness, in all of her everything, looking like her natural self. I honestly, you said so Angela Simmons. Listen, so Angela Simmons Mm. and the gloriousness that we've witnessed. Did you see it? I saw it, bro. Okay. In the green. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I feel. We, I, I'm not gonna lie. I feel. I feel weird. Yeah. Looking at Angela Simmons in this way, but there is no way you are gonna grace the world with what you grace the world with, and we can't talk about it. I, I got, I'm sorry. I got two opinions. Two opinions. Okay. The first one is, I hate daughters that look like their dads. You think she look like Russ? Bro, every time I see her face, I'm like, I'm the king of rock. There is none higher. Sucker MCs would call me fire. Sire, sire, sire. I fucked it up. That's I'm sorry. Crazy. I'm sorry. Every time I see her face, I'd be like, oh, she is cute. But I'd be like, nope. No, but I don't, I don't see that. But okay. Every time I say I want to be like, sucker MCs. Like every, just, yeah, yeah. I just, yo, every time. So. Damn, that's crazy. For me, I see it in her face. Um. I'm going to deviate mean, for three seconds. Remember Montana Fishburn? Yeah. Who did that? But yep. she got. Lawrence Fishburne face. That ass? Yeah. Oh, nah, damn, you're And violating. it was like, you out here doing porn. I damn, see your dad. Violating. Like, it's fucking weird. Damn, so, anyway, vi- let me move it back. So, you're so where, where Angela Simmons fucked the world up, she has been very forward in life in saying, I'm not going to get any type of surgery or BBL. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. I mean, that's how I look. If you fuck with me, you fuck with me. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. And then this beautiful woman. Keeps coming out here strutting her shit, and it's yeah. fucking the world up. So all I, I reposted the picture, and I was like, "All oh, the BBLs is mad, yeah, because y'all spending money trying to be what she naturally is." Yeah, and the crazy part is, bro, we never asked for BBLs as a man. We oh damn, good point. Let's talk about it. Let's we talk never. About it. I only got two fights: the BBL and the eyelashes. Mm. Those are two things that no man has ever Niggas said. Don't care about dog. We ain't never said you are beautiful. You know what you need? <laughs> you need some eyelashes. Yeah, nigga, we ain't never. You need four strands. That, that's it. Get get them. We ain't never asked for that. Mm-mm. So that fight is different. That's women on women. <laughs> that's women on women crime. Mm-mm. But every seeing Angela Simmons being a natural woman, mm. having the the fat where it need to go. Having the, the roles where they need to go, the booty where they need to be, the knees and the legs. It's like, my God, dog, it's beautiful. I mean, yeah, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Mm-mm. 
it's fucking the world up, and I'm happy for it. I'm happy for her. But more than that, I'm happy that it's proven a point. I'm I'm on that same train of thought. I'm 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 more so happy that quote unquote outsiders can come in and progress the genre. Cause it's not about fake titties and fake yep. booties. Mm-hmm. All right, boom, real quick for you, for you get drunk, drunk. I got you. Uh huh. Nicki Minaj or Angela Simmons? In what? Body. We only talking body. We know Nicki had work. Okay, I see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I see what you're doing. Talk to me. I'm still gonna say Nikki because okay. to, to me Nikki looks better than Angela. Like it's, you just look better than. I think she's more. She's is she pretty? But that once again, that's me. If, okay. If you're asking me, I feel like Nikki looks better. Than, so if you just had to pick, but even though the body fake, bro, she looks better than. She's a better looking woman. Yeah, she looks better than. But uh, I okay. don't know. Fair enough. I was saying, but but that question is tough because I know what you're trying to do. I'm just trying to have I a know. conversation about people nah, with fake nigga. bodies you and people with me, real trying bodies. Catch, trying to cash me up, nigga. <laughs> mm-hmm. I get it. Nikki, we need that feature. <laughs> we need that feature, Nikki. Mm-hmm. Like, we working on that feature on the low. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. But I got you, man. But we here, man. We've been discussing. We out of here? Yeah, it's about to say. It's about that time. Cool. Um, let me see if I got something on, on, on the letter. Did let we do out. good with the list? Did we do good uh, with the list? Uh, you had a whole list. Well, Jesus. We ain't fuck up nothing. No, no, we we touched everything. Look, look at us coming through with the fucking show, yo. Bow, um, hold that. I tell you what though, it's weird not having a camera here. Yeah, because I keep looking. That yeah, way. yeah. So we here and we here. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking I weird. I will say this has been Willow Wednesdays. Hey, what's up? Uh, we outside. We got some new shit to talk about. Um, get with it or get lost. Can we hashtag the new Jesus and Mero? That would be wild. To be honest, no one's. I, I, I is that I, is that trolling? It, it is. It's trolling. It, it's definitely right, trolling. Enough, I, I, but to be honest with you, I feel like we've always been better. So I. I oh, now you I, finally I'm admit a, it. See, I'm the one that went in hard first. I'm I'm easy to tell the bro, truth, bro. But I. I mean, we were better. Bro, it's listen, all good. Man. Let's fight about it. We outside. We should celebrity box. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you we win. They don't want that smoke neither. The fuck you talking about? These hey. is short. I got Mero though. He a big dude. I'm a big dude. I got Mero though. I got Mero. If yo, we had to fight, fight yo, bro. Let's do it real quick. Fight. Me and you. Me and you fighting against they, Jesus and Mero. They can't fight. <laughs> <You That's> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm they just not saying. fighting. Come on now. That's real. Me and you. Jesus and Mero, like like gloves on. What's up? They're not fighting. It's over? We win? Yes, they're not fighting. Okay. So what are we talking about? I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Bro, Dame, I love you as a person. Let's I love you it. as a brother. Let's do this it, man. This has been real. It's been another great episode. Thank you for being here with me. Of course. Talking this crazy shit. Of course. We about of here? We about of here, man. Cool. Willow Wednesdays, I keep looking at the fake camera. Willow I say, Wednesdays. I say this. Keep your head up and your eyes open. The streets are watching, you heard? Somebody. Grr, bow. We out, man. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in to Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate thanks, the thanks, support. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace. Bow.